One Sunday morning, Lambton went to fishing in the weir. He catched a fish. Hi, I'm Dr. Mugge Sattar from Newcastle University, and I'm the project lead for the INACT project co funded by the European Union. In this project, we produced a free web app which helps anyone in the world create their own cultural activities in their own languages. No Lambton felt inclined to gun and fight in foreign wars. He joined a troop. As part of the project, we ran events with migrants and displaced persons in the UK and in Turkey, Spain, and Finland, and found that our participants learned languages and digital skills, increased their awareness of other cultures, and became more open towards other cultures and people from different backgrounds. Growed and growed an awful size. It had a great big head and great big teeth and great big goggle eyes. And when it... We are particularly excited to be part of this year's Refugee Week events at the Great North Museum and to provide a space for children and families from diverse communities in Newcastle to learn more about the local Geordie accent and the Lambton Worm story. Would often feed on lambs and calves and sheep and swally little bands alive when they live. In this event, participants created their very own Lambton worm from paper and were also able to explore a comparable activity in Catalan, Rosa de San Jordi, which is the Catalan version of the San George and the Dragon legend. So know you now who all the folks on both sides of the weir lost lots of sleep. Participants described the event to be amazing, fabulous and artistic. They said they learned new words and felt closer to other languages and cultures. They also made lovely connections to legendary monster stories from their own backgrounds, such as Alibaba, the Loch Ness Monster and the mythical creature of Bahamut from ancient Arabia.